Welcome back to the channel everyone. My name is Derek and today we're going to go over some of my most frequently used hooks. First off, we got some 4 aught jugular hybrid hooks. Let's get a more in-depth look at them. Alright, you got your 4 aught hybrid jugular hook, also known as an offset hook. Offset being this offset portion right here from the eye. This acts as a bait keeper. It will hold your soft plastic worm from sliding down the hook. It's also not in line, so the hook point is not in line with the eye of the hook which is to help with increasing your hookup ratio. This is your most frequently used soft plastic worm hook for Texas rigging. That's exactly what I use it for myself. Now my two most frequently used sizes and hooks are gonna be a four aught and a five aught. And really that's all gonna depend on the size of the soft plastic that I'm using. So the bigger the soft plastic, the bigger size hook and vice versa. And here we have a 4 aught jugular hook paired up with a clout worm. Perfect. All right, our next hook, and this is probably gonna be my most frequently used hook. That would be the Stout Wide Gap Hook, also known as an EWG. Let's get ourselves a more in-depth look at it. All right, here we go. This is the 4 aught Stout Wide Gap Hook from Six Cents Fishing also offset so you've got that spot up here holds that bait and sliding down so this is in line with the eye so the point of the hook matches up with the eye so you've got this obvious extreme wide gap between the hook point and the base of the hook and that is good for holding let's say a craw gives that bigger body of plastic area to move down when you go to set the hook. So when you set the hook, the plastic will actually slide down the hook and you have a better hookup chance at that point. There we go. There is a six cents fishing stroke across paired up with a four aught stout wide gap hook. Now as you can see, you've got plenty of space here. So when you go to set the hook and the fish bites, that body can slide down and you've got all that room there. So your hookups, you, you shouldn't have an issue with these. There you go. All right, let's see what we have next. All right, we've got Six Sense Fishing Ox Flipping Hook. This would be a four aught size. Let's pop one out. All right, this is a four aught ox flipping hook. One thing that I really like about this flipping hook is it's got a really good bait keeper up here which I think in my opinion is very key when you're looking for a flipping hook it's also got a thicker wire and that thicker wire is meant for the thicker vegetation because when you're in the thick stuff you're really setting that hook hard so you don't want any bend in that hook and you're also pulling the fish through that thick cover. So this is a straight shank. When you're rigging your baits up, it's just gonna give it a tighter, more compact presentation, which in the long run, it's gonna come in and out of that cover a lot easier for you. Here we go. We've got ourselves a prawn hooked up with that four aught ox flipping hook. As you can see, that bait keeper right there is doing exactly what it should be doing keeping that bait there got just enough room there for that thicker bait to get out of the way once you set that hook and I mean look at that it isn't just a nice compact profile perfect getting through that thick stuff and that prawn is in that Mexican spice all right now it's that four aught ox flipping hook six cents fishing I'll make sure to link everything that you're going to see here in the video down in the description. I'll individually link it so everything you can click 
click on it, bring it right to that specific hook. And if you do happen to pick anything up from the Sixth Sense website, make sure you use code ECF10. It will save you 10% on your entire order. And if you do end up using my code, make sure you head on over to Instagram. You can find me at I Can Fish. Send me a screenshot of your order details in a DM, and I'll make sure to tag you up in my stories just for that public recognition. I really appreciate the support using those codes and everything goes a long way in helping me build that partnership up. So I greatly appreciate it. And let's get into our final hook of choice. All right, our final hook. Gonna be a one aught six cents fishing wacky hook. Tell you what, if you are not throwing a wacky rig, you are missing out on a serious amount of opportunities. So do yourself a favor, go scoop some of these bad boys up. Let's take a closer look at it. All right, there we go. We've got that one aught six cents fishing wacky hook. The one thing that I love about these is how sticky sharp they are. I have caught some decent sized fish, some threes and fours. I mean, it's just like they're skin hooked on the inside and they just hang on tight. These are some sweet wacky rig hook. Honestly, I, I even use them for drop shotting. But if you're looking for a good wacky hook, this is the one to go with. All right, and there you go. There is a six cents fishing clout worm rigged up wacky style with that wacky hook in action. And I'll bite it. Ah! <laughs> Definitely start throwing one if you're not. All right, there we go. Just like that. Those are my four most frequently used hooks and a little bit about them. So as a recap, got the jugular hook, got the stout wide gap hook, ox flipping hook, wacky hook. Thank you for tuning in. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment what you would like to see next in the future. Spring is coming up, so we will be getting on the water and definitely getting a bunch of fish catching videos for you. So definitely stay tuned for those. Much appreciated, and until next time, thanks for tuning in to I Can't Fish.